by Ken A. Bear with Safety Respect, and I'm here today with David Evans, the project superintendent from McCarthy. David, thank you for having us. What job site are we on? This is uh, UCSD Franklin Antonio Hall in La Jolla. What a beautiful location. So today we're going to be watching the installation of the post foot. We're putting a training video together. Can you tell us a little bit about why you selected the post foot application? Sure, so this is a concrete structure building. Uh, it also has a full glass exterior envelope. Um, we chose this product basically because you can install it on the actual slab, um, install the ex exterior skin without needing to remove it, um, and then once that's all complete, then we can remove the, the railing system and there's no exposure. Yeah, I notice you do have wooden guardrail up here on the top. That is from an earlier phase. Can you tell me about the transition from that rail to the barrier system? Sure, so this railing you see in the background, that is part of our formwork um, deck. So basically, we form the deck prior to concrete. That railing goes in, pour the concrete. Typically, you would uh, strip the deck out below and then put the slab grabbers on with the two by four and uh, debris netting. Um, with this system, we actually uh, pour the concrete, uh, put the railing system in. It, it uh, anchors to the top of the deck. Once that's fully installed, then we go down and remove the, the formwork from below. So no tie off necessary, no one walking around in fall protection, all perimeter control once you get the barrier system up. Yes. That's fantastic. Now, McCarthy did execute a cost benefit analysis without getting into detail. How did that turn out? Sure, so we uh, based this off of uh, our original budget, which is slab grabber, two by four, debris netting, installation, maintenance, and, and removal. Um, this product we purchased, so it's a, a bigger cost up front, uh, buying the panels, buying all the hardware. Um, so that cost was a little higher than what we typically would have. Um, the installation was a little uh, quicker, so we did save money on installation, but the real savings comes uh, later on down the road when, when the maintenance uh, comes into play in the removal. So during the installation of the exterior skin, uh, this system can stay in place, so there's zero maintenance. And then removal, uh, basically we have our trade partner removing the panels at the, as they install the exterior skin. So they just drop it right in the stillage rack and uh, we just band it up and remove it and send it to the next job. That's fantastic. Let's go watch the installation process. Sure. The installation process for the Safety Respect Edge Protection Barrier System is quick and easy. Measuring and marking the locations for the post foot is important. The barrier panels that McCarthy is using today are eight and a half feet long. Because the panels are designed to overlap, they are placing a post every eight feet. Once the location for the post foot is marked, the hole is ready to be drilled. A half inch hole is required to be drilled to a depth of at least three and seven eighths inches. The toes of the post foot should be facing away from working area. A concrete fastener is then drilled through the post foot and protective boot and into the concrete. Once the post foot is secured, the post can be installed. The post drops down into the socket and then twisted until it drops into the locked position. The barrier panels McCarthy is using are the largest we offer, but as you can see, they are lightweight and easily moved into position. Once the barrier panels are placed onto the post, the gravity lock can be dropped into the locked position. For 90 degree turns, the bracket 360 can be used to allow change of direction. Once the last barrier bracket is locked into place, the installation is complete. It's that simple. David Evans, thank you and McCarthy for allowing us on the job site today. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching and remember to always have respect for safety.